Welcome back to Western Mass News, everyone. We had some unsettling weather earlier on in the week, and today is clearing up, but it seems we're going to be continuing that trend <laughs> coming up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we are. I mean, today is going to be nice, so if you've yeah. got outdoor plans, today's your day to do it. But, yeah, I mean, we're still on this unsettled wet train. One day dry, one day wet, one day dry, one day wet. Yeah, hopefully we can get a streak going here in good weather, but, you know. Can't ask for mud. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like we might have some of that coming our way soon, but we'll talk about that as we take a look outside right now. Uh, we're seeing plenty of sunshine today. It's a nice day for us finally here in Springfield and in the hill towns as well. Temperatures already in the upper 70s because we have our high Ju uh, July sun angle helping to warm us up. Earlier we saw all that cloud cover. That's all burned off now. We're seeing a few of these Friendly cumulus clouds, not going to bring us any rain, but it still feels very muggy out for us with our air coming straight in out of the tropics. It's almost air you can wear, but still, it's the better day of the weekend. So if you got outdoor plants today, is the day to take advantage. Currently, anywhere between the uh, 60, uh, in the lower to mid 70s, I think that temperature was a little bit on the old side. We're already in the mid to upper 70s at this time. 78 in Springfield, 76 in Holyoke, 75 in Charlemont. So mid to upper 70s right now, going up into the mid to upper 80s today. And with those dew points, it's going to feel like the lower 90s. So you're going to want to bring a water bottle if you take advantage of this weather and get outside. So as we head through the day today, 70s through the morning, 80s in the afternoon, going back into the 70s tonight. We may see a stray shower or thunderstorm this afternoon, but it's going to be isolated. So bring one of these with you. Most of us won't need one today, though. Just being, uh, but you might want one just to be on the safe side. Now we can see our next weather maker off to the west. This is a view of water vapor imagery. It tells us how wet or dry the air is. And we can see we're right in between two weather systems right now. Here's our last one. Here's the next one over the Great Lakes. It's just starting to stream into our area. So we may see a few uh, peaks. Of, we, may, we may see more clouds later this afternoon, but overall, a mixture of clouds and sunshine today. But we see that troublemaking low off to the west over the Great Lakes, where we heard that recently. That's going to make its way to the east tomorrow, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But right now in our neck of the woods, a dry day, a nice day, nothing to see on radar. Now, as we time things out with your 24, as we continue into the afternoon, again, we'll see some uh, mixtures of clouds and sunshine. We may see a stray shower or storm in a few spots, but most of us won't. Temperatures in the upper 80s. As we head into the overnight hours, though, that next weather system makes its way in from the west to the east. And so so we'll see cloud cover start to increase overnight tonight. And by the early morning hours tomorrow, heavy, steady rain will be approaching the area. And for much of the morning tomorrow, we'll be seeing rounds of showers and storms. And because our air mass is still wet, that could lead to some flooding concerns for us tomorrow. And we'll uh, keep an eye on that as the day progresses to see uh, for additional updates. So make sure that you're tuning in later today for the updates on that system. As we head into Sunday afternoon, the heavy steady rain moves out, but we still see the possibility for some scattered showers and storms. One or two may be on the stronger side. So again, something to monitor as well for tomorrow. So we're all going to need the umbrella on Sunday. Maybe bring the rain jacket with you too, or just, you know, spend it inside. It might be a good day to, you know, play a board game or something. Uh, but for our Sunday, 78 to 82 degrees, that rain's going to keep our temperatures a bit lower and raining pretty much all day. But if you got to go outside, I'd say maybe late afternoon, 5 or 6 p.m. when we get rid of that um, steady precipitation. Now, as far as how much we're expecting, anywhere from around one to three inches more rain on top of what we've already seen with this next system. And that's why we're really uh, concerned about flooding with this, uh, with this storm system. This might not normally be enough to cause uh, much in the way of flood issues, but because we've been so wet, it doesn't take as much rain to see significant flood flooding or flash flooding. And for that reason, uh, the National Weather Service has issued a new flood watch. It is actually past midnight. It hasn't gone into effect yet. It will be in effect tomorrow uh, due to the potential for additional showers and thunderstorms. As we take a look at uh, tomorrow evening into Monday, we have another nice day on tap, temporarily seeing high pressure moving in. And so our Monday looks nice. And as we take a look at our 10-day forecast, today's nice, tomorrow not so much, Monday's nice, Tuesday, not so much, and then we dry out for the middle and end of next week with our temperatures near normal in the mid 80s. But it looks like we might see some more unsettled weather towards the weekend. That's a check of your forecast. Glenn, over to you. Thank you, Casey. The Reverend Jesse Jackson is stepping